As healthcare practitioners, our goal is to move our patients from a negative illness state to a neutral normal state, or from a minus five to a zero. But as naturopathic doctors know, true health is not found at zero. The WHO defines health as complete physical, mental, and social well-being, and not merely the absence of disease or infirmity. In other words, neutral is not where health is found. So how do we get from zero to plus five? A powerful way we can help our patients is by helping them to be happy. Happiness is a serious aspect of our health and is a strong preventative modality that can ensure our long-term well-being. An analysis of 30 studies showed that while happiness does not cure illness, it does protect against becoming ill. Happiness increases longevity by seven and a half to 10 years, a value comparable to the effect of smoking or not. Our brains influence our happiness via a set of neurotransmitters, the most important two being serotonin, which improves our mood and outlook, and dopamine, which controls motivation, attention, and satisfaction. Chronic unhappiness puts us in a sympathetic state, which over time has a wide range of negative effects, including decreased immunity and poor stress adaptation. Additionally, being in this fight-or-flight state eventually leads to depletion of serotonin and dopamine, thus furthering the cycle. Knowing this, it is easier to see why happier people have lower heart rates, less dysglycemia and hypertension, and better digestion and energy, all things that the parasympathetic state is responsible for. Additionally, new research demonstrates that depression, anxiety, brain fog, and cognitive decline are linked to neuroinflammation and oxidative stress. Excess free radicals damage our delicate nerve cells, altering their structure and function. For example, chronic neuroinflammation and oxidative stress de depletes brain-derived neurotrophic factor, which is responsible for growth and repair of our nerve cells. Oxidative stress also accelerates the breakdown of serotonin and dopamine, which we already know have a big impact on our happiness. So how can we increase happiness to improve health? Studies show that only 50% of our happiness is genetic, meaning the remaining 50% is controllable. Naturopathic medicine has many tools that can target this remaining 50%. We can use lifestyle counseling to reduce time in a sympathetic stress state. We can modify the diet to reduce inflammation and oxidative stress. We can supplement to improve brain function, and we can promote exercise to reduce anxiety. In addition to feeling better, happy people build stronger support networks, monitor their weight better, perceive symptoms of illness sooner, and drink and smoke less, which no doubt contributes to their increased life expectancy. As we know, health is incredibly multifaceted, and improving health is our number one goal. Now that we understand why being happy helps us to be healthier, we should all add happiness to our list of health markers and use it to focus our treatments to improve our patients' health, longevity, and overall quality of life.